Helen Louise Stapleton, born, what's the date there? Uh, December. Okay, December 1944. Died October 1945. Okay, and you can look here. And there's a footstone, and this is the headstone. And you can see the cutout where they would have put mortar there, or it might have stood flat at one time without mortar, which is why it's fallen. What's interesting is right here next to it is a piece of earthenware. Looks like earthenware, porcelain. And it appears to be a bottle or a vase of some sort. But it's laid directly between the two stones. And we've seen that a good bit at the cemetery. There's a lot of uh, stuff that's laid with the graves. Died W.H. April 22nd, age 28, 1912. Okay, same stone. But on the side it says 1909 WH. Here's the extent of the cemetery so far. We are at the grave of Pearly Irina, daughter of William and Welfa Webb. And she died when? March 6th, 1909 age one month and 15 days. Okay, and there's the epitaph on the base stone. Good. <laughs> a light from our household is household gone. A voice we love is stilled. A place is vacant in our home that never can be filled. And you can see that's fairly legible on the bottom. And gratefully, it looks like someone has either moved this stone from the burial location. It might have fallen down at one point, so they've reassembled it. And it's because here's the footstone, and here's the marker, and there's a grave there. So, and you can see on the back that it's been repaired with cement. Oh, and at the top it says at rest. And it has a dove in the And it has doves you said? So there's doves there at the top and underneath the curved or the arch at rest. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, most likely a gateway which is like uh, the pearly gates uh, which was a pretty common uh, iconography on headstones at that time. John Byers, 1875 to 1919. We're just south of the gulch. And you can see the point on which we're working right now. This appears to be outside of the boundary fence. Goldie Fletcher, 1958 to 1958. We're now above the double point at the cemetery. Corporal William M. Rice, Company G, 40th Kentucky Mounted Infantry.